Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lichero and this is part 2 of my beginner's guide for XCOM Enemy Unknown. So let's continue where we left off in the previous episode. We will get now an abduction mission. So let's scan for activity. Yeah, here we go. Commander, we picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress we are marked on the hologram. We have three countries available and generally First, the panic levels are not so high, that's why we will go for the reward in the United States with the four engineers, because that's the most beneficial in our situation right now. Here's our team. Notice as they got the promotions, they have now different weapons. For example, the assault class has a shotgun, the heavy has an LMG, and the heavy will have a rocket launcher as well. This team looks good for me, so let's launch the mission. Ah, and another little trick with the abduction missions, this is very useful. Strike one. Prepare. Especially if you are playing on impossible. Ready to deploy. If you are expecting an abduction mission States. to happen, then save the game before. And if you don't like the rewards, for example on Impossible, you have to consider the panic levels really much. But for example, if you need the money or the engineers and it, the country is not providing it where you have to go, then you can just reload the save. It's not going to change the countries. For example, if you got India or United States or anything like that, it's going to stay the same. But if you reload, the rewards will be randomized again. So you may get what you wish after reloading. So let's just put everybody on Overwatch for now. The second mission doesn't have too many aliens, as I remember. This is a tank station, so they can be here in the building. Let's search for some hard cover. Let's move here. here they come. Yes, they are in the building. Two sectoids shouldn't be much of a problem. Alright. 50% chance to hit. Because with the promotion we got an aim bonus as well. So 50% chance, let's take it. But it's a miss. No, shot wide! Alright. Let's move in to some area with at least half cover. Well, this situation is not really preferable. Let's move here. Hit Overwatch. This is dashing as well. Alright. I don't want them to flank me, so I will just put everybody on Overwatch for the time being and maybe with my heavy let's try to flank them and maybe I can demonstrate the rocket in the next turn let's see what the aliens are doing we will get some reaction shots but with the shotgun well, I got pretty lucky there the shotgun has a pretty high aim penalty especially on long distances Alright, we got damage, 2 damage, well that's not so bad. Well for one alien I'm not gonna demonstrate the rocket. 47%, let's take it. I'm about to start keeping score. The second mission on normal doesn't have too many aliens as I mentioned, so I'm expecting one, well maximum 2 groups of aliens. Around this general direction. So let's just move up. And the last group I will try to demonstrate the new skills we gained. Right, let's move. See, the car just exploded. Cars are generally not so good cover because if they get damaged, they will burn and later on they will explode. But, let's move forward. Where are the aliens? Maybe inside the building? Let's 
Let's move our soldiers into position. Wow, the heavy is really far away. Let's just Got dash her. Oh, Alright. Maybe it was a patrol. Because it's not such a normal area for them to be. Well, this is not a pleasant situation. What was that sound? I will throw maybe a smoke grenade if I can. No, I can't. Alright. Let's move here. And let's wait for the aliens to do something. My heavy is really, really in a bad position. They caught me off guard there. Well, nothing happened. Let's demonstrate the rocket. It's always fun. As you can see, the rocket will always have only 90% chance to hit. Uh, anyway. Let's just do this. Maybe we'll destroy some cover. Targeting system must be and she missed with 90% chance. Awesome. I don't think we're alone out here. Yeah, we are definitely not alone out here. Let's go to Overwatch. Let's move closer. I will throw a smoke grenade just to be safe with you. We could move... Let's move just here. You are on assault. You can move on the next turn anyway. Let's throw a smoke grenade here. So they are protected with 20, 20 plus defense in the smoke cloud. Because she, my heavy, will be definitely flying. Well, I didn't want to do run and gun. That was a misclick there. But then let's move into the building and maybe we can get a shot. Yeah, we can. So I can demonstrate run and run 22% chance. Let's just go to Overwatch instead. Run and gun enables you to do Overwatch as well. That is a missed shot. And it didn't destroy my cover. Alright. 30% chance to hit that's not so good let's move in with her because my cover is burning anyway and now I'm flanking him so this should be a kill yes it is one more sectoid is still inside the building though so let's move up our heavy and overwatch Let's move up our support as well into dashing range, but one sectoid is not so dangerous at this point. And let's move inside the building with our support. The support is not getting any weapon upgrades. You have to use assault rifle and later on the laser equivalents to the assault rifle. Let's move closer. He's outside the building, maybe. He's a rookie, so let's just move with him. There were two sectoids, and I only killed one. Where's the other one? Good question. Let's move up. Overwatch. And Overwatch with the heavy as well. As you can see, burning cover will be destroyed. Shh. You hear that? The sound waves indicating that the one sector is so far away. Maybe there is another group. Alright, here he comes. And the reaction shot took care of him. Mission accomplished. And that should be for the second mission. We only took a little damage with one of our soldiers, so she won't be spending too much time in the hospital. Commander to the situation room. No promotions, to the situation but that's room. normal. Ah, new facility available workshop. Workshops are really useful. They give five engineers to our staff, and if we build them next to each other, then they refund 7% of any resources used on building vehicles, funding projects, and facilities. And we got our four engineer reward. So, let's go to the situation room. 
Every member of the council is going to want satellite coverage. On normal, as I mentioned before, you get one satellite for free. This is not the case in classic or impossible. So you have to build that one satellite yourself. Let's see. These are the panic levels. Our panic levels are pretty good at this point, but because of the abduction mission, we ignored France and Egypt. Their panic levels are increased. At the end of the month, if the panic levels are reaching maximum, it's 5, and it will be red color. And if you don't do anything about it, that country will leave the council. There are 16 members, and if 8 members are leaving the council, then it's game over, basically. Here you can see the bonuses from the continent, as I was mentioning them before. And if you launch satellites there, you will get the bonus anyway. So we have one free satellite. And France is giving 80 credits per month and two scientists, where scientists are not so useful anyway, but let's launch our satellite to France. Oh yeah, because we are stationed in Asia, we have two interceptors in Asia, but none in France. So what we will do is to go to the hangar and buy an int interceptor for Europe. Bear in mind that it takes three days. So in France we are not gonna get any abduction mission anymore. We will only get UFO contacts. Let's see Several here the grey market. The an if you are running short on money here you can send your possessions. However, in the early game it's not recommended because you need these corpses and weapon fragments for research. But later on, as the UFO missions will start to appear, you will get damaged uh, things which are not good for anything, so that you will have to send anyway. The requests, sometimes countries are making requests for you, they are really great usually they are asking for some med kits or some weapons and they're giving a lot of money to you in exchange the new so engineers arrived this morning commander as they're i mentioned before let's help build help a here. workshop as you can see a building requires usually three things a amount of power amount of engineers or scientists and of course money let's build a workshop here so we will get five more engineers and what do we need for a satellite uplink yeah more engineers that's why it's good we build a workshop and more money but that we will get later on and that's about it for the second part of this series i appreciate your attention and see you next time